Hi there. Now, whenever it comes to working with expressions or equations, it's very important to be aware of what we mean by a term. And the best way I can illustrate this is if we take a simple expression, let's say 3x plus 5, then this expression is said to contain two terms. So what do we mean by a term? Well, as soon as we introduce a plus sign or a minus sign in expressions, and with equations, an equal sign as well, we start to split the expression or the equation into terms. So with this one here, let me just illustrate it in red. I've introduced this plus here, and it means that we have this first term, 3x, and then we introduce this second term, plus 5. The plus 5 is often referred to as a constant. If you get a number on its own, it's a constant. Whereas this particular term, it's got an x associated with it, so it's called an x term. Now, when it hasn't got anything written in front of it, it's understood to be a plus term. In this case, plus 3x. So this expression contains two terms, 3x and plus 5. Let's have a look at another expression. Let's say we have 3, and then we introduce a plus sign. So immediately, I've separated this term from what's going to be the next term. So at the moment, then, we've got one term, the constant 3 or plus 3. Now, let's just carry on. And if I write plus 4x, and then I write, say, minus 2, and then minus x, what I've done here is I've introduced then plus, minus, and a minus. So I've now created another three terms. This next term here is plus 4x, an x term. Then we've got the next term, the third term in this expression, is the constant minus 2. And finally, the fourth term is minus x. So let's take another example. This time, let's suppose we have 3, and then I have a bracket with x plus 1 inside. Now at the moment, inside this bracket, I would have two terms, the x and the plus 1. But because I've put a bracket around it and I'm multiplying it with the 3, then all of this becomes just one term. Plus 3, or simply 3, times all of x plus 1. One term. Now, if I introduce a plus sign and I write plus 2x, then I've now got two terms in this expression. I've got this first term here, and then the second term is all of plus 2x, an x term, okay? Let's take something a bit more complicated. Let's say we have three lots of x plus 1 again. So we've just seen from above, this would be one term. And if I put plus and then 2x again, so I'm just copying this down here. Clearly I've got two terms. But if I introduce a division, I'm dividing all of this top of the fraction here by just say 4, then what I've got is in fact one term. So you've got to take care with questions like this, okay? We've got one term here in this expression. In the numerator, the top of the fraction, I've got two terms. In the denominator, I would just have one term, the constant 4. But altogether, because I've introduced this division, it kind of wraps up all of the top of the fraction over the bottom, just one term then. But if I carry on and I put minus, say, 3x, for instance, I've got another term here. I've introduced the term minus 3x. 
So now this expression has two terms. I'll take one more example. Let's suppose we have x plus 2. Then at the moment in this expression I've got two terms. The x term plus x or just simply x and the constant plus 2. But if I put it inside a square root sign for instance it kind of wraps all of x plus 2 up. I'm taking the square root of all of x plus 2. And so therefore this is regarded as one term now. Okay, but inside the square root we've got two terms. If I put minus now and I have minus say 5 then I've now got two terms all of the root of x plus 2 and then the other term minus 5. But if I put a division here and then say x plus 2 underneath then what I've got here is another term. I've created the term minus all of 5 divided by x plus 2. If I examine the fraction here on the top of the fraction I've got one term and in the bottom of the fraction I've got two terms the x and the plus 2. But overall in this expression I've got two terms. Okay? Right, well that's expressions. Now let's have a look at working with equations. Let's say I had the equation 3x minus 4 and then equals let's say 5 times all of x minus 2. Now with an equation we introduce equal signs as well and this separates terms. So if we look at the left hand side of the equation what we've got here is two terms the 3x and the minus 4 x term and a constant. We've got an equal sign here so it separates the terms and on the right hand side what I've got is one term. Okay one term there. Remember when we've got five times all of x minus 2 then this becomes one term. Inside the bracket here we've got two terms the x and the minus 2 but altogether that's one term. So I hope you're getting the idea of this okay. Let's look at something a bit more complicated now. Let's suppose we had 2 times all of x minus 3. At the moment we've just got one term here. If I put equals 2x say I've now got the 2x as a term. So in this equation so far I've got two terms. If I put minus a quarter then I've got three terms. The minus a quarter becomes a term. Let's go back and divide all of two lots of x minus 3 by 5 plus x. Then this division wraps up all of the top of the fraction with the 5 plus x. So what I've got now is one term here. In the denominator of this fraction there are two terms just the 5 and the plus x. In the numerator I would have one term but overall this fraction becomes one term. So in this equation I've got one term here now I've got another term here 2x and I've got another term the third term the constant minus a quarter. Okay let's now look at another one. Let's say we've got x minus 3 and all of this is divided by x plus 2. We've seen that having a fraction creates one term and that's true even if I now put a square root round it. Okay, I've still got the one term. And let's say it equals two lots of all of x minus 1 plus 3. Then in this equation 
what I've got is three terms. We've got this term at the front here on the left hand side. We've got this term here and we've got this term here plus three. Okay and the last one suppose we were having an equation that had 5x minus 3 and it was being multiplied with say x plus 4 and it equaled 0. What we've got here is something multiplied with something else and this would be regarded as one term on the left hand side of the equals. Okay and then we've got equals which separates the terms and we've got another term on the right hand side of the equation zero. If I was to examine how many terms we've got inside this bracket we've got two terms the 5x and the minus 3. How many terms in this bracket? Two terms again the x and the plus 4. Okay but altogether this becomes one term because we're just doing a multiplication here. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then on what we mean by a term in expressions and equations. As I say, you're going to be meeting this idea when it comes to simplifying and expanding expressions and solving an equation.